Hi, welcome to Heart of D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons 5e and we're actually talking about how to play Dungeons and Dragons 5e and today's video is about the Barbarian and we're covering Feral Instinct. Now there's literally no flies on the Barbarian and uh, really good luck. Uh, it'd be, uh, you'd have to be really, really lucky to be able to catch the Barbarian unaware and surprised simply because of feral instinct. But there's a little bit more to it than just that. So please turn to page 49 of the player's handbook and it gives you details on the barbarian's feral instinct. I'm gonna read the section to you, then I'm gonna break it down so it's as clear as mud. Okay, so by, <clears throat> by seventh level, your instincts are so honed that you have advantage on your initiative rolls. Now that's always good. So, advantage on initiative rolls, great. Additionally, if you are surprised at the beginning of a combat and aren't incapacitated, you can act normally on your first turn, but only if you enter rage before doing anything else on your turn. Now that sounds really confusing, doesn't it? So I'm gonna break it down into pieces, bit by bit, and explain exactly what's going on and then I'm going to give you a demonstration so that uh, it's, it, it can't be confused in any way. So first off, you can enter, you can never really be surprised provided you're not incapacitated. So if you're incapacitated and there's lots of different um, conditions that have incapacitated tied to them, then you won't be able to enter rage because you're not able to function and you will be surprised. So you can't be incapacitated if you want to use feral instinct. The other thing is, it also states that you have to enter rage straight away, which sounds a little bit confusing because if I remember right, you're not supposed to be able to have an action, bonus action, reaction, interaction, speak or anything else uh, if you are surprised. So how can you enter rage straight away if you can't have a bonus action? Well, this is an exception to the rule. A barbarian can still be surprised in the first round of combat if there are other members or other creatures, NPCs, that are higher in the initiative order. Because initiative is still rolled. You still roll initiative to determine who is going to take their turn first. You work your way through the initiative order and um, if a person has, has been surprised then they don't get to act. And if they haven't been surprised then they get to act as normal and take their turn. So what this means is surprise is going to end on the barbarian's turn once they enter rage and they have to enter rage first. It also means that the barbarian gets access once it's their turn, on their turn, they get a bonus action. They can, they can actually use their bonus action as normal but it's the only thing they can do first and the only thing they can do with that bonus action is they must enter rage, otherwise they're surprised. So it's a little bit confusing. I think they should have just stated that <clears throat> on the first round, you have to use your bonus action, which we are going to give you, which is an exception to the rule, but you must enter rage. And it would have been pretty clear. Okay, so let's break it down and show you exactly what this all sort of means because initiative is important in terms of this concept. So here is our screen and oh I apologize the start line from yesterday is still up and active. <laughs> okay so it should be catching up hopefully. There we go and I'll get rid of the book. Should have done that first. Anyway so what I've done is I've given you a situation here and I've put them into order. This is the initiative order. The four, three, two, one, this just represents the highest members in this particular combat in the initiative order. And I'm placing the tiger at the top as having the highest initiative roll. Okay? It's not necessarily that it's rolled the four for their initiative, I'm just putting them into order. So this is the highest end, this is the lowest end. And I've put the cleric right at the very bottom. So don't worry about the numbers for their actual initiative, that is unimportant. So we roll round, we've rolled initiative, we've determined who is surprised and who isn't surprised and let's just say that all of the members here are surprised, they didn't get a particularly good perception check, 
against the stealth check for the tiger. And the tiger is going to act first. Their turn, they also rolled very high on the initiative. So they get to take their turn first. Very good. They do their attack. Blah, blah, blah. We move on to the next person highest in the initiative. And it just happens to be the wizard. The wizard goes to take their turn. But they have been surprised. So all they do during their turn is be surprised. They can't do anything else. At the end of their turn when they can't do anything... They, they end the surprise, which means at this point now, if time rolls by, they can actually use a reaction after the end of their first turn. That's the, that's the wizard. Now we're on to Feral Instinct. We've got the Barbarian. Next in the order of initiative. It's their turn. They're surprised. They can't do anything. But Feral Instinct allows them, one, to roll advantage. So you should have been rolling advantage when you're making your uh, initiative roll. So I remembered to do that. But also, too, it allows you to have a bonus action when you wouldn't normally get a bonus action. And with that bonus action, you must enter Rage if you want to do anything else. If you don't use your exception to the rule, that bonus action that they've allowed you with this particular feature to, to jump into Rage, then you are just like the wizards. You're going to be standing there doing nothing. That's really how Feral Instinct is supposed to work. At the end of your turn... We'll move on to the cleric. Now the cleric, same sort of thing, was surprised, doesn't get to do anything. At the end of their turn, they end surprise. So now they can use their reactions. Does that make sense? It also means that at this point here, if the barbarian has some sort of class feature or ability where they could use a reaction, well they can't. They can't use a reaction because at this point in the initiative, if the tiger's taking their turn and they do something, there's no chance to use their reaction. You're still surprised. You can't, you can't end your surprise until it's your turn and you enter rage. If, say, the wizard decides to uh, do something uh, and casts a spell and you have a feature that's a reaction, you can't use it yet because you're lower in the initiative. It's not your turn. You haven't had a chance to use your feral instinct. Okay, which means you get to use a bonus action to go straight into rage. Provided you use the bonus action to go into rage, otherwise you don't get it. Okay, so you, you don't necessarily get to do anything here or here with a reaction. Once you get here and you are allowed to use your bonus action to go straight into a rage, then you can take reactions, you can use your action, you can move. But what you can't do is try and take an action or move or interact or speak until you have gone into rage. I hope that is completely clear. I certainly hope it is. And if I haven't made it clear, you need to tell me in the chat box right now. So that's all I have on today's video. So if you found this helpful or informative, please share and like the video. If you're not already subscribed, sorry, if you're not already subscribed, then subscribe if you like the sort of content and you want to see more of it because there will be more of it. Um, also too, there's a bell button beside the subscribe button or underneath it, depending on whether you're watching the video or on my channel. And when you do that, when you click on the bell button, it will notify you when I am live. It also lets you know when I publish a new video. Now to support my channel, you just supported my channel by watching my live stream, watching my video right now, or watching the pre-recorded video later on. That's great. Um, also, to, I don't do Patreon, but down in the description, you will find uh, an affiliate link where you can buy stuff online. You know the deal with them. You buy stuff online from Amazon, Book Depository, whatever. I get a small commission. You pay exactly the same price, and you just you don't even have to buy the thing that it's linked to, which is kind of cool. Um, also, too, I have about 500 videos. There's bound to be something you will find useful, and I suggest going and checking them out as well. Okay, so now comments in the chat box right now. If you're part of the live stream, start asking your questions, giving your feedback, telling me if I got it wrong. I'm pretty sure I got it right. Um, otherwise, if you're not part of the live stream and you watch this uh, once YouTube publishes it, then just down in the comments, give your feedback, ask your questions, um, give me any questions and feedback that you have, any experiences you have with Feral Instinct, all are good for me and for other people who will read them. And that is the end of today's video. So till next time, keep rolling those 20s.